Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Scrapping Family's Daily Life YouTube channel. We actually got the car all loaded up. We're going to be headed off to the scrapyard. That's what I see over there, hiding in the corner. But we got a bunch of stuff here in the trunk. We got a ton, ton of Christmas lights. But out here, they only buy them as, as 10 price, and 10 price is about five cents a pound or something like that right now out of here and then you got the whole back seat here full and then we got a couple batteries here to take in so we'll get back to you guys what trace oh yeah we got two radiators too two small ones out of a dehumidifier so we'll get back to you guys when we're leaving the scrapyard all right Alrighty guys, we're back. We're actually just got done at the scrapyard. Still sitting here. Alright, we weighed in at 3,400 pounds. Uh, we weighed, at, weighed out at 3,120 for a total of 280 pounds and 10. Uh, at 45 cents, or no, not 45 cents, point zero five four five cents. So like four and a half cents a pound for a total of $12.90. Um, two pounds of clean aluminum. Um, that was the copper aluminum radiators because we cut off the end, so that's why they give us clean price for it. Uh, 45 cents a pound, so 90 cents for that. Uh, had 36 pounds of auto batteries, uh, 20 cents a pound for a total of $7.20. Uh, three pounds of uh, aluminum, uh, like the pop tops off of pop cans and stuff like that. Uh, we found a gallon bag full of it. So, I mean, it was only it was three pounds of that. So, they gave us, well, at 90 cents a pound, so $2.70 for that, for a grand total of $23.40. So, alrighty, guys, I'll get back to you later. I'm going to be changing the hydraulic fluid and the uh, uh, filter on the lug splitter today. I already changed the oil on it the other day because I don't think the guys ever changed it. So, but yep, I figured since he's let me use it, I might as well, you know, change the oil, new filter, new hydraulic fluid for it for him. So, all right, guys, I'll get back to you. Hey, everybody, we're back. Uh, actually, just did it real quick off camera um got the filter changed hydraulic fluid changed i uh, got it all greased up he said he was going to come pick it up today he had a load himself that he had a split for a customer so but i haven't heard from him oh, no biggie but it's all done i'm just waiting on him to bring me some more logs so i can split them but i'm actually working on a project right now right down here that's where i keep all my firewood inside the garage for the burner so you, yeah I got a pile in here um we gotta screw that uh, piece of wood down then I'm actually gonna put drywall all on the walls so it quits tearing up my installation I'd rather tear up the drywall which is no big deal to me because it was free anyways so that's a project I'm working on once I get done with it oh and I am gonna add some installation right in here because that I haven't insulated yet um, so I add a piece of insulation in there and then do the drywall on the wall so when I put the logs in it's easier and then I'm probably going to put a couple pieces up here too up against my workbench because when I go to stack wood I have a problem with it falling through so just make it easier on me. So, Alrighty guys, I will be back to you in a little bit. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Got it all done. Got drywall all up. I even, like I said, I put it on here. Put it on here. Got the insulation in here. So now, I just gotta fill it up with wood. Which is no big deal, because I've got my stack that's right outside my garage window here. So, I just grab whatever I can, put it in here, and then I go outside and I'll stack it back up by the window here again. So... I could just pull it inside, stack it, 
and then when I have my full stack in here I'll restack it again so that way next time when I need firewood when I run out in here I can at least get you know a couple handfuls from right here right away I don't even have to go outside so till this pile gets empty then I move to the next pile and yeah I don't know if I want to when I do run out of this pile I don't know if I want to take my other pile and restack it right here so it's right here or just leave it where it's at I don't know what I want to do yet but yeah I got chili out so you know me I had to start a fire <laughs> And then also I got done working, doing that, and actually got, uh, I don't know, I got it in like this cleaning mode. So I started cleaning off my workbench here, got all this organized, got the garage cleaned up a little bit. <laughs> so. Uh, Alright guys, uh, I'll be back in a little while. Alrighty guys, I'm back. God, this camera sucks on this thing. We need to get better cameras. One day we will. But I'm out here working in the garage. Still. Tracy's out scrapping. See, got it all filled up with logs. Still got me a fire going. Keep myself nice and toasty warm. Because it definitely, like I said, it got chilly out. Um, But one thing I haven't told you guys yet. That I'm going to be gone for, I don't know, a couple weeks, month. I don't know. Um, I'm going up to Wisconsin to work with the uh, brother-in-law, Wisconsin family. Uh, I'll work with him making some money. Um, so, I don't know how we're going to manage the videos, but I'm going to try to take video while I'm up there and send them to Tracy. Hopefully, hopefully she can upload them with her daily videos. But, um... So yeah, we're trying to make as much money as we can so we can make it out there. I mean, we have the money to make it out there. We just would like to have some more. So basically what I'm doing, I guess you could call it micro scrapping, is like all these pieces, all these, those are all the ends of radiators. Because if you cut off the ends, you get a better price for them. You get the clean aluminum copper radiator for it. So we've been cutting them off. Well, the last few times we haven't taken them in. So I actually looked at Tracy today. I'm like, you know what? Since I really ain't got nothing going on besides, you know, I was cleaning the garage. Eh, kind of getting burnt out on that. But uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking and getting the copper and aluminum off the steel piece and just basically separating them so the copper ends off the radiator will be number two copper which is going for a dollar eighty right now a pound and then um, I've got some other copper that I'm considering number one copper I hope they do too because it's clean it's bright um, and then actually some of these ends are they got nothing on them they got no solder no nothing um, hoping they take that as number one copper which is a dollar ninety-five, yeah, dollar ninety-five a pound for that. I mean, I know it's only a fifteen cent difference, but you know what? If you have a lot of it, um, that fifteen cents definitely will add up after time. But we're not gonna have that much. But if I, at least I can get maybe a few extra pennies or cents, whatever you want to call it for it, why not? So, all right, guys. I'll probably pick up here in a little bit. Tracy is out scrapping, like I said, so we'll get back to ya. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna end this video for today. Thank you for watching. Um, gosh, I lost my train of thought. Actually, kind of given up on doing the micro scrapping on those radiator ends. My wrist is just giving out my wrist and my hands are just killing me so all right guys thank you for watching you know what to do like subscribe comment you know all the good stuff thanks again guys we'll talk to you on the next one all right have a good one guys